All right, we've got some solo road trip tips. Currently driving from Massachusetts to Colorado, Lowell to Denver. And I'm trying to do it as quick as I can because I've got a flight to catch home. Um, spent a lot of time on the road, not a ton of time, but a lot. And I find some tips to put some distance not behind bad. You is helpful. And I'm not talking about planning a trip that you're going to go do fun things with your family. I'm talking about just a solo, or not even necessarily solo, but we just want to get this car from one place to another, and I got to do it in a certain amount of time. First tip, easy. Make food, bring sandwiches, bring drinks, bring what you need, because it's quicker to have it than to have the stop. I know you got to make stops anyways, but it's just nice to just have it so you can keep on going without having to wait. It's way faster to go to a rest area and go to the bathroom and go to the bathroom and get food. Just think about walking in and then you'll see people ordering food. You go to the bathroom and leave, they haven't even gotten their food yet and you're just about back on the road. Another thing that's nice to have is this thing is a hot logic. It just plugs into your cigarette lighter and it, it makes food warm. Uh, it doesn't cook food, it just makes food warm. It's like breakfast sandwiches, pre-made stuff. It's nice to have it all warm and good. Another tip, try to minimize your stops. Uh, if you have to stop to go to the bathroom, you might as well top up your gas tank too and do what you need to do because it's a lot. You save time by stopping once for slightly longer than stopping twice. Sleep, sleep when you need to sleep. No one can drive forever, uh, but if you just drive when you can and then when you get tired, sleep. When you start to get tired, you can, you can use tricks to stay awake like I read every sign, every single sign I see, read aloud. It uh, just kind of keeps you focused on the road and keeps you from falling asleep. But eventually you got to stop and uh, I just, just sleep in the car. It's way quicker to stop at a rest area, sleep in the car and for a couple hours and then go again. Also, if you're in traffic, even just thick traffic and you're not making good time, sometimes you're better off stopping and getting some rest so you can make better use out of the time where you can go at a quicker pace. I'm not talking about a cannonball pace. But if you just go with the faster flow of traffic, you can make pretty good time. Another thing to do is figure out how much time you have, then you can figure out how fast you have to go. Make some some mile points, some points of reference. So like for me, I knew I had to be to Chicago, passing by the Chicago area by a certain amount of time. Um, I knew I had to get to Iowa by a certain amount of time. So I know if I'm ahead or behind schedule. And then if I'm way ahead of schedule, great I'm way behind schedule I might have to start reviewing flights I might have to start making some changes if it's a little behind schedule maybe I can make that up if I push it but pushing it can obviously have bad consequences you don't have to go super fast you can it's your call not just talking about putting down miles that doesn't sound right it sounds like you're putting your dog to sleep named Miles O'Brien that you just called chief I'm talking about just just making progress the more time you spend on the road, the better. Um, minimize your stops. Have what you need. If you do have stops that you really want to make, you really want to see this, really want to see that, think about if it's worth it. Right? Like there was some uh, thing I wanted to see, but I figured that's going to take an hour and a half. I could be out of that state by the time I saw that. You know what? It's not worth it. Not this trip. I don't want to miss my flights.